Pickaxe. Hello and welcome to Zero Degrees, the podcast with no qualifications, where we solve your complications. I'm Harry and I'm joined by lovely Lydia and wonderful Ravs. Hello, 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 hello. How's it How going? How are we doing? Did you enjoy our Don't last episode it. we just recorded? We literally just finished, just five just minutes ago. Just finished a fucking 50 minute episode when we said let's do a short one. So this one may be a little bit shorter, I'm sorry, because we've got we to gotta squeeze them all in. Um... But we can jump right to it. Yeah. We can get you've right into it. have done all the preamble now. So. Wait, hold on. We're in Vegas right now, right? Oh, you're in Vegas. Wait, wait. Uh, oh, uh, oh, my God, Harry. Oh, it's so crazy. Bring, actually, no, bring Brandon, it. you'll be in England and I'll be flying. Oh, yeah. I'm on a plane. Fuck, be, ah! fuck, yeah, we'll be back, won't we? Yeah. Shit, oh. Oh, Vegas was so was a good time. Oh, Harry, what's your flight? Over. Oh, wow, 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 wow. Oh, I have a oh, financial ruin. my money ruin. is gone. <laughs> oh, no. <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> I have no monies. Oh no! It's <laughs> basically what it's going to be like when we do our next podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. pretty yep. much. Yeah, yeah. Be nice. Be good. Me and me and Harry will be wearing rags to the first video podcast. <laughs> yeah. If I'm wearing no clothes, because I lost them. Oh, mm-hmm. nice. I bet them on roulette. Yep. <laughs> strip poker. Yep. Nice, yep. Nice. Nice. Wow. Are you? I wish you could play strip poker like officially in a casino. <laughs> that would oh be, be insane. That would be an insane fucking. Maybe in like a back room. <laughs> you're back room because you're on like officiated strip pokes. Like, sir, no, you yeah. did bet your socks. You have to take them off. <laughs> <laughs> People just go in wearing like 50 layers of clothes. <laughs> oh, yeah, they try to cheat the system. <laughs> Fuck's sake. I feel like we go crazy in Vegas as well, though, because people be wearing like nice stuff. So you'd be like, oh, I want that fucking designer jacket yeah. that guy's got. Like, yeah. I, I wager you my nice shoes. I wager you my Primark fucking hoodie. That's the thing. How's it? It's hard to make it fair, isn't it? Because the, the mm. mon- different monetary values of everyone's different t-shirts. Yeah, <laughs> I like it though. I like, yeah. the, I like the concept. I like that. I'll, I'll report back if I find any yeah. strip poker joints. <laughs> okay, let us know how it goes, Harry. Godspeed. <laughs> All right, should we do a question? Let's yeah, do it. Questions. Let's do it. Uh, we've got one here that I think is quite funny. Oh, wait. Oh, I want to do this. From our, one of our wonderful patrons. Thank you, wonderful Thank patrons. Thank you. Um, they've been enjoying our Am I the Assholes, which has been been really, really fun to do. So hop on over to patreon.com. Oh, last degrees. one that came out as well. Mm-hmm. Well, oh, fuck. Oh, that's, uh, the, the one that come from what? the Trot <laughs> episode was basically like an extra podcast as well. It was fucking It was, it was so pretty long. long. Oh, um, yeah. yeah. And we did a video so if you want to support, as well. You can go over to Patreon, give a little support. It means a lot to us. Patreon.com. It's very kind. Slash zero degrees. Thank you so um, much. But this is one from one of our wonderful patrons. They say, Hey, Lydia, Ravs, and Harry. Love the pod. My question for you is Lewis and Simon have died in an awful car accident. Oh, Christ. A power struggle. What a fucking question. What in- <laughs> and a power struggle has ensued for Queen, 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 King, Monarch of Yogg's Towers, which can only be determined by an anchor man style fight to the death. Right. You're allowed three Yogg's on your team to defend you in combat. Who do you pick? Now, I'm going to add a little bit. Okay. It's also going to be what weapons do they use? Because I feel like a big part of the anchor man fight was all of the hilarious weapons they turned up with. Mm. Yeah. Um, so I feel like, should we round Robin and each take one as we go? That's okay. maybe like the, the best way to do it. Okay. Do you want to start us off, Lids? Okay. All right. I'm going to start with Smith. I feel oh, like... Oh, that's a good pick. Yeah. I feel like he knows about battle and things like that and does airsoft shooting. Mm. And, you know, I feel like he'd be a good a good one to take into battle with me. He's very aggressive. Um, He's a very aggressive. He's a very aggressive. powerful pick. Very tall. Um, uh-huh. Gosh, for someone... Uh, you, oh, God. I think, feel like he'd be my tank. Um, okay. He just like, has like a shield. Yeah. Like a, bin, like a dustbin lid shield. Yeah, but he's going to need... Yeah, like a, a dustbin lid sh- shield in one hand and... Uh, God, I don't know. So it's just like sort of... I can't... It's been a long time since I watched Anchorman. This hmm. more household items that that they're using stuff they can just grab around the office they just have weird they i mean some of them have grenades some of them have like pitchforks and stuff right 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 it's kind of just insane okay um maybe a pitchfork would be good for for smith because he's so tall i feel like he could do knuckle dusters though he's so oh do you know what i mean oh i see that as well yeah god what is yeah oh well now i'm i just okay let's give him 
He can use one of the Yogs cast um, 1 million subscribers uh, gold YouTube plaques as a nice. shield. And nice. then uh, let's, let's give him like a, I, think, I feel like he'd be good with like a spear. I see him being mm. good with a spear. I give him a spear. <laughs> What's a good look? Like a big one million subscriber plaque shield and a yep. big spear. I yep. like it. Yeah, I see Ooh. it like that. Right. Like so a, you, a who are you picking? Uh, I'm picking Tom because he is mm-hmm. an absolute big boy. Mm-hmm. He, True. Next to his recording room has the toddy armor. Ah. So I know ah, he fits in it. Nice, nice. okay. Uh, and you probably expect me to give him a sword. No, I'm going to give him a gun. <laughs> oh, just straight up. Just a one shot flintlock. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wow. Uh, I'm going to get a, a musket. He's going to have a musket. A mu- old school style. Okay. I like that. Yeah. I like that. So easy to rearm that inside a giant suit of armor. Well, he'd have a bayonet on the end of it. Mm. Also, I feel like with mm. him in that suit, you just got behind him and push him. He'd be fucked. <laughs> like, he just would, Probably. He would go down so fast and struggle to get back up again. Well, Probably, talking, of, talking of suits. you with that shit. <laughs> yeah. I'm 100% picking Boba. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Friend, nice, nice. And I'm putting her inside of the Fallout Boy. Ah, oh, what, the, <laughs> the thumbs Volt up? Boy. The Volt thing that's boy. made of plastic. <laughs> she's going to mecha, she's going to mecha drive it. And right. she's the only smaller person, small enough to fit inside it. I so see. I'm sending her in her mecha outfit. Nice, um, nice. You know, she's constantly giving positivity, like a kind of like a bard, you know, yeah, just giving that yeah. thumbs up. That real reassurance, yeah. shouting, you know, help. There probably is like a horrible scene where like a sword gets driven through, you know, the fallout boy and then just... Oh. And then blood pours blood, out Blood the pours hole. out, yeah, oh, but you know. No. Yeah. It's fine. For a little bit, she's doing great. Yeah. Okay, that, okay I like that. Okay. That's good, pretty good armor. That fallout boy... It's quite strong. Heavy. Big Don't big forget boy. stopping a gun, but you know, no, that's no. fine. No, no. Okay, I just, kind of feel like just, a little... Click would be, you know, it would be us though, right? It would be like all the pickaxe podcasts would kind of like band mm. together. <laughs> you know what I mean? Do I have to be on a team with Lydia? She's renowned for her uh, frail bones. How dare yeah, you? I will take my calcium tablets leading up to this. I will make sure that I am very uh, full. Very able. A very able, able-bodied before I go. God, okay. I did some painting. I could barely walk for like three days. So yeah, I'm not going to be terrible. If bodes we, uh, well. Bodes, bodes well. well yeah. Bodes well for this battle. Next next round of drafts. Yeah. Oh, is it drafting? I feel like, I want to say someone like, I want to say Pyrian. I feel like Pyrian would be good in battle. He's like very feisty and mm. I feel like quite like he'd be very patriotic for the team. Um, he'd get really into it. You know, I, I feel like he'd be one of those like, you know, I'd rather die than lose kind of people. He'd be yeah. p- putting everything into this to this battle. Um, I do feel he's quite debatey. I feel like you could distract him quite easily. Oh. I could say like, just say like a dumb thing to him, like, Oh, Pyrian, the, the 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 sun rotates around the earth, and he'd be like, "No, it fucking doesn't, Harry. You <laughs> fucking moron." Oh, fuck. That's and his weak spot. Fucking, you fucking yeah. go off. And he goes off on one. Maybe, oh god, that kind of combos well nicely with Smith, though, because I think both of them are quite like debating. Oh, they're yeah, quite both they get lost. Are. That's kind of like your team's weakness. Oh they, my god, <laughs> they get very easily distracted by annoying subject matters. Yeah, maybe I've got to give both of them earplugs so they can't hear anything. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So they can't be distracted. What weapon would Pyrian use? God, what I feel like he'd do something a bit old school as well. Um not like a frying pan. It's like stay at home dad frying pan. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. A frying pan. Um just to, yeah. Yeah, why not? It's very classic. It's a very classic, classic weapon. Very yeah. cartoon classic. Okay, let's go for frying pan. That's good. Big cast iron, lovely. Rouse? Yeah, that would fucking Okay. Hurt. I Hurt, I'm yeah. gonna pick my boy Sips. Got to nice, uh, okay. and he is going to be wielding a just just an absolute suit made of money from all the money he's saving from living wow. in Jersey. Wowie! <laughs> just he's just he's just beating people to death with a golden bar. Oh my god! Flexing on yeah. all of us as we die. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That, I mean, that, what a way to die. And he's, like, he's a he's a tall lad, and he's a dad. He's got like expertise from raising multiple children like he'd probably be good at planning and executing <laughs> dads are renowned for being good at executing i just don't executing feel like a when, plan. when oh, i think of, when I think of like violence i don't think of sips usually he's like yeah he's a fucking vegan no, but he, you know I mean? he's like he's like the brick chill. you know he's so he chill is like, he is the brick of the yogs cast i think mm. you've made a bad choice there i think he's so chill he just wouldn't even want to get he is into my brother the in arms i think you, it'd be hard to get him like riled up and engaged yeah. you know i mean just 
He's a slow starter. Yeah, yeah. I think that might be your well, weak spot. He's in my he's in my team. Okay. I'm we're we're always in each other's corners. Um, oh, sweet. Okay, well I'm taking OC. Another little one. Oh. I'm gonna collect collect okay. them all. Mm-hmm. Like a series of Pokemon. And I'm just gonna give her a fucking knife. Because I honestly <laughs> just think OC, when she's had a drink in her. Yeah, 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 yeah. I just think that's fucking a terrifying prospect. Oh my god, yeah. Little Yorkshire gal with a knife. Oh. And yeah, just, she just up. Poke, she just she can't reach you, but she's just like prodding it towards you. Like, hey, you come any fucking closer? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I see that. I you see know? that. You end up getting lots of defensive wounds and bleeding yeah. to death, basically. And I just kind of sent. I'm like, go forth, OC. Go forth. Like, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 OC's renowned for talking like that. Oh, <laughs> he's a big gremlin. Yeah, I'm building my my team of small people. Small people. Okay. Okay. It just only to make me look bigger. To be honest, it's kind of an ego. Thing. Right. It's an ego. It makes boost. me look tall. Let's. Nice, like it's like the um when they shot you know the rings they use like the perspective shift to make the whole uh, look okay small. yeah 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 it's like that it makes me look more intimidating by nice. being surrounded by lots of little people very clever you're the, you're their Gandalf yeah um, yeah I'm the Gandalf nice uh well I'm gonna actually take uh one of yours away from you I'm taking Booth I'm taking okay Booth. well you, I I can't tell you that's fucked up Lydia that's a Whoa. fucked up thing to do no I'm sorry you snooze you bloody lose as is the way of the the battle of the <laughs> Yogs you know uh, I'm I'm taking Booth you got um, you had to I mean you had to really who I actually believe is actually the smallest member of the Yogs cast so yeah. wow you really the fucked smallest, up smallest and you didn't even start there you didn't there. even start there you fucked up Barry because I don't see height Lydia <laughs> I don't see an eye <laughs> I don't see height. <laughs> I'm going to, yeah, because I'm going to balance it out a bit because I've got two tall boys. Uh, mm-hmm. So we get a, a small boy in there as well. And I, I see her as a, a Simpsons crazy cat lady, just chucking cats, screaming hysterically. Yeah, that's nice. She's yeah. got cages. I like, she's got like, like this giant cage backpack filled yes. with cats. Yes, yes, yes. Just yes. reaching she's in grabbing and just grabbing them, another. <laughs> throwing them. Like we can get like a bunch of, like so many pets within the Yogg's cast. Just get all of them yeah. involved, shove them all in that cage. She's just throwing them, screaming. Uh, I, I see that being quite terrifying. And um, and yeah, I think that's my my final, my that's like my special weapon. I bring her out near the end when time's look, looking tough. No, oh, I love that. Yeah, yeah that's yeah, perfect. Yeah. Perfect. My final pick. Uh, I'm picking the homie G. I nice, just feel like G, nice. G probably got some fucking like weeb swords or some shit. Yes. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, G's got G some a fucking shit. G, Very G's got nice. a katana, but it's like one of those cyberpunk like neon it, like, glows. Black, yes. It glows and shit. Yes. And like G, G, G's a fucking badass dude. Yeah, that's I feel a good like G's show. a good pick. That is a yeah, good she's show. Like, wearing like combat boots and shit. Power she, like, of pulls anime. The katana up to. Her tongue and she like she like licks her yeah. licks her long ear and yeah, just like cuts her tongue she's like yeah. ah and she's like no. but you know <laughs> it's, it's very choppy. cool up until it's that point it's cool it's very she does cool. big choppy nice I like that that's a good shout um okay I guess I'm gonna have to take my final little one which will be Nina oh okay okay I'm gonna bring Nina into oh, the battle oh we're gonna pick Nina, Nina. Cause, 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 we're pick a little office staff. precisely <laughs> one so lovely no she's one's gonna want to kill her I, I, I could not no. I literally could no one would hurt her no. so like kind of yeah. OP kind of um, overpowered I think I'd give her like a like a like a gatling crossbow that fires paintbrushes I like it'd be like nicely on brand and she'd be mm. you know no one's gonna go up to her and stab her so she can just fucking sit at the back and just fire paintbrushes through people's eyes right Okay, I, that's yeah, oh, that's, that's good. All, that's that's overpowered, man. Wait, yeah, are you allowed to use star? Uh, well, well, if she's no, she works the Yogg's cast. Yeah, no, 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 yeah, that's she's fine. As, she's as Yogg's cast as the rest. Yeah, of us. yeah, she absolutely yeah. is. Sorry, I was, I was trying to think if there was a way to because that's like the most OP character. So I was it really to think is. If there was I mean, a way no to get you out Sarah, of Sarah, who I feel like was next to OP. She was, she was my next choice, but oh, okay, yeah, yes, yeah, Sarah, I, I, feisty, feisty. Okay, shall I take us through our teams? I've written them down. Okay. Okay, Lydia. You've mm-hmm. got Smith with a spear and a YouTube plaque sword. It's very heroic. Mm, I feel like mm, I see him as my team. like yeah knight like hero. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. Actually, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got Perion with a frying pan. Nice, nice. It's terrifying. Wild card. Yeah. And Booth with her crazy cat cage. Perfect. Yeah. I like your team's pretty good. Yep. 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 It's love a real. That. It's a real mix match. I love Schmorgish it. Smorgasbord of of greatness. Um, and what weapon are you using? Oh God. I mean, an AK-47 or An AK-47 something. Is, uh, is a pretty <laughs> Quite good Quite useful, yeah. <laughs> Ravs, your team is Tom in the toddy armour with a musket. 
<laughs> yep. Sips with a gold bar and then G <laughs> with a cyber katana. It's a pretty... But the head, okay, but Sips' armour is fat stacks of money. I'm okay, sorry, but that would be money. good against an AK-47. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it makes up a few bullets. <laughs> and then G, G and some cyberpunk-ass shit. Combat boots with a big katana. Nice. It's like and doing what are crazy you using, shit. Ravs? Uh, I'm going to use an AK-48. Oh, no, uh... <laughs> <laughs> it's not a real gun, no. Ravs. Oh, it's not a real gun. <laughs> I had to make something better, Lydia. Uh, I would AK-74 use... is a real gun and is a lot higher than 47. <laughs> yeah, that is true. Um, I would use... Um, oh, I feel like I would just use a sword, mate. I feel like I would just use a sword. Yeah. Sword, sword and shield. Up. It's very on brand for the Scottish. Mm. Yeah, I know that Lydia picked gun, but, you know, mm. sword and shield. I will kill you so quickly, my goodness. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, cool, so my team. we got Boba in her mecha fallout boy. Yes. Uh, nice. OC just with a knife. <laughs> Drunk I with a knife. It, I'm imagining it's not even like a, it's like a blunt knife. It's like a knife <laughs> it's you a use for like... a knife. <laughs> it's a butter knife. She's yeah. got a butter knife. It's not even sharp. <laughs> See, I think that would have been the only person that could have countered Nina and you've picked her on your squad as well. Yeah. Like, like, drunk Ozzy doesn't even know who she's stabbing. <laughs> yeah. you know? So she could have stabbed Nina, but... You know, now but wait, what if she does, squad, though? What if she well, does friendly, friendly fire? fire might still happen, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, we've got Nina with her paintbrush crossbow, and then me. Um, what are you using? What am I going to use? Now, you've always said you're a pacifist, Harry. I am. I'm going to use a pen and paper because oh. words are more powerful than oh. anything. Oh, you're going to write... No, you can um, literally just write you're kicked out of the network on it. Oh, my God, <laughs> you're fired. You're I'm going to write you're kicked out of the network. Um, and we're all yeah. like, okay, all right, all right, right well, we give in, we give in. <laughs> Guess who's king yeah. now, bitch? <laughs> oh my God, yeah, you would totally win. Uh, oh my I'd God. I bring my phone so I can fucking kick you out of fire, yeah. No. There we go. No. <laughs> Oh, okay. Damn, Harry Let's know an OP squad. Yeah, Let's know the course, who you think who you think wins. I don't know. I realistically though, I f- honestly think. I mean, NAK is very ridiculous. I mean, but I like I like your. your I feel like Ravs has got the most like theme team. I feel like. I feel what like theme has he got? He's got sips with a gold bar and. How? What theme is that? But I, no, but I feel like they they the people have their themes very appropriately matched. Oh, you know, Thomas wait. Toddy, Sips yes. is Money, G's, I see. Cyber. I've got I feel you. like it's very. They're but all you meant very a team on brand. Theme. Right, I've got you. No, I've so I meant you, like their you. personal themes are all nice. like very strong. Yeah, I do like that. But I really like how crazy yours is, Lydia. Oh, this is just a bit of a, a group of cr- crazies, group of nuts. There's a group of guys. There's a group of crazy guys. Um. Well, yeah. Let us know who you think would win. Yeah. Who do you guys know. reckon? Yeah. Yeah. Very good. Very fun question. All right. right. What we got next? Let's do a new of a one. What makes sex good? People talk about, oh, you just need to have some good sex, or I just had good sex last night. This is like game dialogue. <laughs> I just had or some even, good sex last yeah, night. <laughs> yeah. Or even, that was the worst sex of my life. What exactly makes the sex good? Context. I have a penis. I have had one partner with my ex. I'm in the mindset of try everything once and do it more if you enjoy it. So we did, and we would do the things they enjoyed more. They said they enjoyed it, for, but for me, it was just sex. Sometimes it felt like a slog to get through because you just keep going until you're done. Switching positions and adjusting speeds to get what they want. This is like a robot or an alien writing this question. <laughs> what is going does on? It get, does it get better? Will I not know until I have had a second partner? Is it just an expression and in reality sex isn't incredible? Is it, it's just an activity, question mark? Additional context. I've been, uh, I've been a lot of self-reflecting and I believe I am aromantic. I'm pretty confident I'm not asexual, but I'm questioning it as I reread what I wrote. Hmm. Maybe. I mean, Mm. sex isn't for everyone. No. (laughs) Yeah, that's not for everyone. Um. So, what makes sex good? I'll let you guys. When go my first. willy feels good, Ravs. <laughs> when it makes my willy feel good, that's when the sex just, is the it best. Just feels, <laughs> feels nice, nice to do a coming. You know, nice I, to I nice to good, come. Good sex when everyone involved had a good time. That's, exactly. That's that's the crucial bit. I think. Yeah. Like, sex is I a, think... is an act with another human being or more, or more. Mm-hmm. You know, come on, twenty twenty four. If, you know, if you didn't super enjoy it, you know, maybe you just need to try something different. Maybe you like something different. Maybe sex for you just isn't amazing. I don't know. Like, you know, some people are very aromantic, like you said. Mm. So maybe you just get 
more out of, you know, dates and loves and relationships and stuff. I think it's also, you know, they, this also sounds to me like some of those things where do you need to think about a bit deeper on what you like in sex? Do you know what I mean? It's like, this could be an opportunity to think about things that turn you on and not just yeah fucking but peeing in vagine or vagine against vagine do you know what I mean like it doesn't, it's not just fucking penetration or or stimulation it's, yeah it's I also a, just completely misunderstood what aromantic was for yeah, a second there. yeah I got it the wrong way around <laughs> aromantic <laughs> yeah could you want to clarify if you uh, let, let's look up the definition so I'm not wrong and owned on the internet uh, yes I believe it's like you uh they don't experience romantic attraction. Yeah. That's what it is. Yeah. Okay. And I, for some reason I thought like, they love that. <laughs> nope, that's not what it is. Uh, yeah. I would just, also say having only had one partner, it's probably worth experimenting some more. Yeah. And that's yeah. not just like, say, put yourself in a situation where you're uncomfortable, but like... Exactly. That certainly is a dipping of the toes, which you could go further with. Um, yeah, like... You know, it sounds like you gave your partner a good time, which, you know, based, but like... Based. Maybe find what gets your rocks off, maybe what you have, I don't know. Mm -hmm. So when you said, yeah. well, when you said, Ravs, um, uh, something, I paraphrase, feel, feel good to come or something like that. Um, <laughs> what, what is better about having sex, sex versus just wanking? Um... You know, it's with I'm another wondering person. if this person like, is thinking about this, kind yeah. of, you know. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. It's like it's like with another person. It's more intimate. It feels better than wanking, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. it's just I don't know. You get to do stuff that you can't do by yourself. <laughs> yeah, get pegged. Uh, yeah, like getting absolutely. <laughs> well, you could you could peg yourself. Yeah. I could like yeah. I could fucking yeah. stick a <laughs> strap onto yeah. the wall <laughs> and just. <laughs> You know, I could do that. Yeah. Not it going always to. comes back to this. Oh, it always comes back circle. to this. Not not going to, but you know, th th there there's so much more you can do with another the human being mm. or several yeah. of them. It's mm. also about it's just about just like sharing that together, isn't it? Yeah. That's what yeah. I like. I sometimes I think you're right in that analysis, though, Lydia. Like, it doesn't have to be better than masturbation. Like, mm, mm. at the end of the day, you know your body better than anybody else will ever probably yeah. know it. Mm. Like, that just is a fact, right? Like, I think that you can never set that as a barrier, but it, sex is there to do a different job. It's like a bonding yeah. of two people. It's about yeah. deepening a relationship or deepening an understanding of, of another and person. Having, like, your partner respond to the things you're doing is just the fucking best thing. Yeah. That, that's why it's fucking great. I, I, everyone should have sex selflessly. And that's the best. Yeah. How you have the best sex? Yeah, like, exactly. Yeah, like be doing it to make the other person come. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Don't be thinking about you. Be thinking about them. Yeah. Because if you're both yeah. doing that, then it's fucking great. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. 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 Hundred um, percent. So I I feel like they should not to encourage our viewers to go out and have sex. But I feel <laughs> like they should go. I feel like they should experiment a bit more. I'm, yeah, I, I, I'd say that's it's what quite I would say. Days. I, I, I feel like to to. And One what, partner that you don't know yet, I don't think. And most people are asexual. I feel like giving yourself more time and not letting that be a restrictive, let that be a, a, an additive, right? Let that be a thing that builds on your life and not be a thing that you, you feel like, oh, I've had one partner and I don't want to do any more and it doesn't want to go any further. And then, you know, maybe in years, discover that that wasn't how you felt when the opportunity arises. I, I, I also just different. I, I feel like, I don't know about you guys, but with different partners throughout my life, I've had different sexual experiences completely. So oh, it does. Yeah, my, yeah my absolutely. Yeah. It varies. It's varied every time. Yeah. yeah. I feel like uh, if I just, if it was after just my first partner, I would have thought that sex sucked. Um, yeah. Just absolutely <laughs> roasting him there. Um, I feel like that is a, not an uncommon story. Yeah, for I most think women, that's though. very like, common. Very, very yeah. common. Um, so yeah, I, 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 it could be a case of that, um, or. It could be literally a case that you're just not really that into it, you know. I, I, I would say, yeah, like Harry said, I'm not saying go out and fuck everything. I mean, you can if you want, um, but I guess see. Do what... do what you want. This is just a fucking podcast. There's a podcast. Come on. There's a, go fuck everybody. Um, but yeah, like if if you try it again and it's still pretty fucking lame for you, then it could just be that you're just yeah, you're asexual. You're just not really into it that much, which is yeah, and totally the, valid. You know, there's nothing wrong with that at all. Yeah, yeah super like, valid. It's totally fine. Um, but yeah, I would, yeah, I would say, <laughs> what are we saying? Go, go fuck some people. <laughs> yeah. I think deep, yeah. deeper thinking about it. I think if you have a partner, it's worth talking to them about it. You know what I mean? 
I think uh, I think discovering it together can be a journey. Mm. It yeah. should, yeah, it should be something that you enjoy and you like. Yeah, you have well, a good time. I, I rephrase that. It doesn't have to be a thing you enjoy. You can not enjoy it, and then that's decision to not do it. Do you know what I mean? No, no, that's case. that's what I mean. If you yeah, are doing yeah. it, it should be something that you enjoy. Yeah, so I if agree, you yeah, don't yeah, enjoy yeah, it, yeah, yeah. then don't do it. Yeah, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah what gets your rocks off and try that, and if that they ain't doing nothing for you, and you still like, oh, this is still just sex, and like maybe you just don't really dig it. Yeah. That's fair. Yeah, I think also just sex being taboo for so for so like long and now mm. it being less taboo in society it, there's a lot of pressure and talk and discussion around it and I think that yeah. that pressure it seems to me at least that pressure is easing that people were becoming more chill around it but it's only for, felt like us I don't know about you guys but me growing up it felt like it was insane like sex liberation sex positivity mm. blah, 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 blah. if I'm gonna go a moment about seeing a thing talk about sex sex just like it's fucking insane mm. the world is like a, just addicted and going mental for it yeah so for like does disproportionately represent how important sex is in just your life. <laughs> mm, mm. It's not the end all be all. Yeah, yeah. 100%. Yeah, it's like a, fu- it's a fucking small part of life, man. Like, it's not that big a part, I don't yeah. think. Yeah. It, it, like, so. it, it needs to come, but also, <laughs> it you nice know, to doesn't come. fucking matter. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, for real. I, I also, I feel like I don't really hear many people being like, oh man, just had some good sex. I had some good I, sex I last night. I had some good sex last night. <laughs> Does, yeah. Can you, if I was like, in the office. some good fuck? <laughs> you want good fuck? If I yeah. was in the office and someone came in, I mean, assuming I'm good friends with this person, obviously, because otherwise it would be really fucking weird. And they were like, damn, I had some good sex last night. That would just be so weird. I would just be like, so I don't fucking care. weird. So like, weird. So like, like, why are you talking dude, to me I don't about care. this? Some people, of, like, Funny coming from me. Some people overshare it too much. Yeah. <laughs> but like, but you're, like, you know, no, but you're sharing comfortably with friends. Like, yeah, yeah, there's yeah. a difference between just Yeah, I, I can't I can't imagine me walking to the office and be like, just fucking <laughs> clap some cheeks <laughs> last night. It was great, fucking so good. Oh my just god. Fucking messy everywhere. <laughs> just giving you all the shorty details. Oh Jesus. No, no, no. No, yeah, I do think if you're, I, like, I don't know, I can't really imagine people who are you talking, hanging, who are you out, hanging with? out with. Who's talking <laughs> like that? That's kind of crazy. Yeah. That's kind of nuts. Um, yeah, I don't. Maybe it's like a laddie culture thing. Yeah. I don't know. I've never been very lad. Oh lads. yeah, is it or a laddie a, thing? Is it more like an American thing? I don't know. Or maybe, it's... dude. Or maybe they're younger and maybe because maybe maybe like maybe. now we're a bit older. It's a bit more like not such a big deal. But when you're a bit younger, it's more like oh my god, you know. Yeah, you maybe see sex that last night kind of thing. Um, could be that. I don't really yeah, know. Yeah, it could. No. So it sounds more like that kind of thing. Yeah, I just think as you get older, it just really doesn't. It does fade away slightly. Do you know what I mean that just all of that pressure, that 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 constant oh, yeah. for and talk about it? Yeah, just it like definitely fucking, fades. I just do not do just not give a shit. Doesn't really matter anymore. No. All right, okay. should we bang out one one last yeah, question? Yeah, one last speedy one. Speedy one. Yeah, you want to grab a little Q Q? Dear Zero Degrees, I recently moved into a new house on a corner lot, meaning we have a long strip of glass, <laughs> grass sorry, around <laughs> our house. <laughs> Unfortunately, I've been finding dog poop on our lawn on a regular basis. I work from home and my office window faces the street, so I know that there are a lot of dog owners in our neighborhood. However, I've never caught any in the act. My partner and I identified a man who would very slowly walk around our house with his dog and suddenly speed up once he got past our block. He never seemed to be carrying a doggy bag, but my partner thought he'd test the waters and asked politely if he needed one. We thought this would be a gentle way to broach the subject, but the man was very offended and walked off in a huff. This was discouraged. This has discouraged us from approaching people directly. Sad face. I'm tired of picking up poop every week, but I also don't want to be that house on the block with a signage asking people to pick up their dog poop. What would you do? Build a fence. (laughs) <laughs> just a big massive yeah brick wall no even fence. even just like a little like white picket fence something that's gonna stop the dog getting into shit in your garden dude maybe there's yeah. a maybe they can't like maybe this i don't know if you're renting it's hard to do yeah. this kind of like yeah. fixture changes it's complicated Maybe there's just yeah. yeah. Okay, well let's assume they can't. That is a good solution though, because okay. they yeah the dog would have to f- they'd have to physically go into your garden to do it. But let's yeah, assume... they'd have to go through a gate yeah. to go shit in your garden. It'd be crazy. Let's assume they yeah. for whatever reason they can't put a fence up. Okay, 
Um, um, you also don't want a solution that's like super fucking expensive, right? No. Like it's just kind of a hassle already. You don't want to make it more. Uh, I was thinking, like, could you um, could you get like a s- automatic sprinkler system? Like, can you like can you kind of home alone it a little bit? Oh, <laughs> like, like, oh yeah. Can you, can you like get an automatic sprinkler system or something that just you put right on that corner? So that when anyone like walks, just you know, on the on the footpath, it's fine. But as soon as it's on the grass, the sprinklers and detects it and just like starts spraying Ooh, water everywhere. Oh, the dog will run away. Because there's not much. That, you know, bo- bonus is no more dog poop and also yeah. lovely green grass. Lovely green grass. Um, oh, that's quite that's quite clever, Harry. But I, I feel like also you should add a camera so you can catch it oh, like a motion detector yeah. camera. That was going to be my suggestion. Putting a camera, like, you can get a fake camera so you don't even need to be recording, mm. but, the, like, having a fake camera that like, looks like a CCTV camera and then, like, put... You're against the signage, but I would put a signage, like, uh, on I think that so, camera I, I agree with... With signage, it just... You seem like you're, you're the asshole. It does mm. switch it weirdly. Mm. It's weird, isn't it? It comes off as a, a bit aggressive, even though you're absolutely in your right to ask someone yeah. not to do something. Like it's it, like passive aggressive. I don't know. Well, I don't know. Not even passive. I don't know. Something about it is something about it feels it, very weird. But to yeah, me. even Currently, though you're totally the, allowed these to. Dog owners are the assholes. A hundred percent. Because they're letting 100%. their dog shit in the grass. So Just something weird about a sign, and I don't know why. Um, although, yeah. to be honest, I would probably end up doing. that. I would rather have the sign yeah. than pick up someone's dog, dog shit. A hundred percent. I was thinking, is it a chance it could be like a wild animal doing it? Could it be, mm. you know, a cat roaming around or some other animal shitting? It, it, What's the it, size and density of the around. shit? Yeah, can, can we, we get smell some the scientific... Shit. Eat the shit. Oh, God. Let's get some scientific knowledge. In it. Just in case it's actually not someone doing it and it's something mm. like, you know, out of out of our control. In which case... Uh, uh, Sprinkler. Sprinkler does get that though. Mm. Just, no matter what the animal is, it's not gonna yeah. be, no animal loves getting sprinklered. No. I don't yeah, that's a good suggestion. I don't like this one. I personally don't like this idea that I'm about to say, but like maybe there's like a deterrent smell you could get that like puts dogs off wanting to go on your grass. I don't know if that's mm. a thing, but that might that might be something. Yeah, you can I get personally don't like chemical so, warfare, but um, Jesus. dogs so are we 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 have some um, for our dog we have some like citrusy s- spray mm, that you can spray like on like it. cables and they just won't chew it I don't know if it means they won't go near stuff cause, yeah but um, maybe there's like yeah honestly it literally might be I guess the trouble is you don't really want to be a lot of those things are probably made for indoor use and the idea of spraying them and then them going into like the water table mm. just also just like does it become costly you have to re-up it every week you spend yeah. ten pounds on this fucking bottle of spray or whatever. Yeah, yeah that does sound like. Great it might be one. like some cheap one, like vinegar or something. But then it's still like you're the fucking psychopath spraying vinegar on your grass. It's more like a fucking oh, yeah. chippy. <laughs> you might ruin your fucking grass. As well. Yeah. You can get I, I, again. It's a horrible one. I don't fucking like suggesting, but like I know that there like some old people. Have you ever seen them? Seen them or heard them? Have like these. Um, Little things in their garden that make like a sonic beep that can only be heard at certain frequencies. Oh. No way. Uh, it's, to, it's to it's to deter like children and stuff hanging out outside their house. Really? Um, yeah, 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 what yeah. The fuck. It, it's it's like it's like fucking boomer shit. It's like to put things off. So I'm like, maybe you could get like an annoying noise. Yeah. <laughs> so that, but isn't that just going to be annoying? It's horrible. Everyone. I hate it. Yeah. But no, because it's freq- like if you get it in the right frequency, you won't hear it. But yeah, that's uh, distressing for dogs just walking past. Then. Yeah, that exactly. And I don't like that. Yeah. That's why I said I didn't like it. But I'm just I'm thinking of, like weird home alone weird fucking yeah. ways to. Yeah. I'm not saying you should do that, but I'm just think, trying to think of. Just you know, poison. I, I, just straight up su- poison. Just fucking just, rat poison. Just rat, rat poison, poison everywhere. everywhere. No. <laughs> in sweet, bear delicious traps. doggy treats. Put bear <laughs> traps in your grass. <laughs> Put, honestly, plastic bear traps that don't actually work. It's kind of a... I mean, it's, it's Halloween. It's the season to, like, fucking get these mm-hmm. dogs to never come back again. <laughs> I, I feel like also there's got to be a way to catch this person in the act. If it is this guy that you think it might be, is there any way, like, to just work with like a laptop looking out the window and catch yeah. this person in the act because if you catch them doing it you're totally in your right to come out and say hi like excuse me um sorry you know i i, I really don't uh, i really prefer it if your dog was didn't leave the mess on my garden i have to pick it up all the time you know yeah, you just be yeah. very nice about it you the, don't have the, to be confrontational the, the trouble is the people who are doing it right yeah i'm not to be a nihilist but i don't think they're gonna 
<laughs> and if it gonna needs, like, they're going to care. They'll, yeah. to honest, they'll probably stop doing it, but they'll just start doing it somewhere else. Yeah. Well, that's not that this person's problem. Just, yeah. just be be a fucking Karen, dude. Like wait in a blacked out van yeah. until you catch them in the act, then you jump out and you say pick that up and they say if they're not picking that up, but like, I'm contacting my local council and I'm going to report you. Citizens <laughs> arrest. And citizens arrest. Just just citizens fucking citizens Karen. I'm that putting you under citizens <laughs> arrest on Facebook Live. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, record them, yeah, get, get up a in your face. Suit. Get a yeah. ghillie suit and wait and lie in wait. And it will shit on you. Then you then you lift your head up like, excuse me, are you gonna pick that up? <laughs> excuse me, you're gonna pick up this dog shit, it's on my head. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you don't have a dog bag on you? I'm recording you by the way. Look at the camera. Mm, I'm gonna post this on Facebook. Right. Neighborhood watch. Everyone on the Facebook community page, all twenty members are going to be very angry. Mm. <laughs> I think there's a poster voice. that says, I'm a stinky dog poo owner and I don't pick up poo poo. Poo poo man, poo poo man. Oh poo poo man. God. Yeah, that one works. Do that. It's perfect. Yeah. It's the perfect solution. Yeah. Or land mines. Or land mines. Or land mines, yeah. I was thinking an auto turret. Which nice. Good. Yeah. yeah. Or just get an even bigger dog and just park it outside. Oh, right. That's true, dude. Right, right. Okay, yes. Yeah. And they can just fight it. Perfect. A scarecrow. Fight the other dogs. Yeah. Get scarecrow. So many, there's so many solutions. Come on, yeah. Come on now. I like. Yeah. I think I like the sprinkler one the best. Or, it feels or, the least harmful. Yeah, it feels that like you just shove a sprinkler down there, and when it's how it's a tank. A what? <laughs> a tank. <laughs> yep. Tank. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> right. We're gonna have to wrap it up there. Um, thank you for listening. Zero thank degrees. You. Um, be sure to send in your questions. If you have any questions, you can use the link in the. Uh, podcast description on the YouTube video description um, hopefully next episode we'll be back in video video mm, form video. fingies crossed video maybe crossed. with a guest so Ooh. let's know who you'd like, like to join um, and be sure to hop on over to the Patreon because we're going to go record some Am I the Assholes now and uh, you can catch them all there and enjoy great listening support the podcast patreon.com slash zero degrees smiley face thank you very much thank you we'll everyone see you if we, we'll see you if we survive Vegas <laughs> bye bye bye, bye. bye.